Hello everyone, I'm doing this uh, uh, level 100 rundown in segments because IREC is pretty dumb. So this one will feature my skills and stats. And we'll actually start off with stats. HP is bugged, I have 24,325. And that's due to body fueling on three of my armor pieces, so I will show that later. And um, yeah, my kills are low because I did a lot of single player to get here, but trust me, I can play multiplayer. Um, and, uh, that's pretty much it. My move mod, uh, is kind of low, and my defenses are pretty lackluster, but, I mean, I'm playing an assault, so. I don't, I don't feel like I need more than that movement, to be honest, because I have adrenaline, but. We'll talk about that now, as we move away from our stats. Thank you, news and updates, I didn't need to know that. And I'll start off with my reload. Ten. Fast reload, <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm getting, cause, oh my gosh, I'm getting tongue-tied. 10 fast reload because, you know, I feel like you shouldn't have any more than this. And you can cap a shock field, I believe. So, with 10, uh, if we get the glove, mas uh, glove collections eventually, so. I don't feel like you need more than 10. Any more is kind of just a waste of skill points, and maxing it is an absolute waste of skill points. You should never do that. But, hey. Eh, 10 is great, and it's pretty much all I could really fit in my build. 13 fast movement kind of got me at the perfect speed I wanted to be with my character, so I think I'll probably just stick with 13 or 14, depending on what happens on my final build. 25 pay grade is just so I can get my money. I've got 70 million right now. Uh, critical shot, 1, so my crits do stuff. It's a 5% DPS boost on average. Probably more now that masteries and masteries are available, so it's a really good thing to have, in my opinion. The rest of this is pretty much garbage, except for field supplies, which, I mean, I don't really want it because I've got pay grade and body armor, but I've got a heavy if I wanted to play a tanky build, event build. And if you're playing an assault, you really shouldn't be doing events anyway, in my opinion, unless you have, like... Like, just 25 spree and stuff, because you really can't take hits. And uh, assault, I mean, generally, you're wasting skill points if you put stuff in body armor, so I wouldn't really recommend it. I mean, my assault build is so tight anyway, same with my heavy, so I wouldn't really invest in this. Like, any skills you shouldn't invest in ever are just waste of time. So I believe body armor is waste of everything, really. On an assault, at least. On a heavy, it's amazing. 25 Adrenaline, because it's inherently the most broken skill in the game. Like, seriously. It boosts three things for three seconds, all three of which are amazing, except for really reload speed now, but in the beginning game, like level 50, how it would just increase your reload speed is just amazing. But now it's pretty meh, so. But the other two, movement speed and shoot speed, are just insanity. So, really, for that 11 seconds, it's just amazing, and just, it's ne like, you should never not have 25 on this assault. And same with Killing Spree, like, that 150 damage and pierce is what makes an assault good. Like, if you don't have this max, then you shouldn't bother playing an assault. And, seriously, if you don't have this max, you're just, you're just dead weight, really. Um, so yeah. And if you... I will eventually do 25 crit shot instead of pay grade, so when I do that, then, like, if I accidentally lose my spree, I'll still be of use, and I always have adrenaline. And the one stim shot, because it can save lives. Deadly Force is outclassed by crit shot and killing spree, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, maybe if it was a 1.25% or 1.5% boost, 1.5 is pushing it, that's a lot. Um, but... I mean, if it ever gets buffed to that, then, yeah, it's usable, for sure. I would definitely go uh, this instead of Critical Shot. Um, knife sucks. Gun Mod Expert is actually what I'm going to be specking in after pay grade and, and um, getting AUG rewards whenever they come. So, yeah. And Assault Team is kind of bad just because they don't have much HP and they don't really do as much as I'd like them to. I can kill more on my own, thank you. And in the next segment, we'll be moving on to weapons. Some fancy editing work, not some sort of editing work into the skill build. So I'm just going to go over my weapons really quick. So I don't have to do 
So much more editing. I've been working on this video trying to make it good for like 30 minutes, okay? So yeah, um, Shockfield is the best gun in the game. Anyone could tell you that, really. Amazing DPS, easily the best bossing and mobbing gun in the game. It's pretty good. Um, Gigavolt, because it's a Gigavolt, and the arcing effect lets it hit a lot of things, and with Killing Spree, you get the double pierce, and then on top of that, you you are perfectly accurate, and with the damage boost from Killing Spree, you tear through everything like butter. So in my opinion, it's the best mobbing gun, and I'm using it for Assault Rifle Masteries right now. Um, any other gun you see here you can ask me about. I'll just go over the guns I've used a lot. Um, Sublight, I got at 79. It was amazing. It bossed really well. Yeah, all the other guns I'm going to say now are just for odd rewards later. Um, stripper, um, best dot gun. Best gun, DPS gun in the game, but it's dot gun. So it's kind of bad in that sense. And it means the shock field can boss better than it, even though it has less DPS. And yeah, it's like, that's unfortunate. And if, Stripper's still amazing in my opinion. Uh, I used the Tempest, but nah. Uh, Hicks, I got it at level 99. It's not good at 99, but if I'd pulled it at like 60, I would have loved it. But yeah. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the main weapons I use. Um, I w if you want to ask me about any other gun, just ask in the description. This Baby Calm I just pulled and I wanted to keep it because I love the Baby Calm. But if you have any other questions about any other gun I have in my inventory, just ask, and I'll answer it in the description. Same with armor. Um, actually, the only armor that matters is really my this body, this one with uh, target assist instead of body fueling, like this one that I have, and the stuff I'm wearing. So this power assist, although I do have the... I actually pulled this red 10-2 uh, Titan Helm. I forgot to mention this from a Prometheum. Uh, so yeah. And I have a bunch of other vests and stuff here. A lot of this is junk. I've got red Titan gloves, but they're not a step up, much of a step up from the normal ones, so I don't really care about them. So, yeah. All this other stuff is pretty irrelevant. I just kept to keep it. And I have a 10 2 power assist, which is amazing. Having body fueling and tissue repair just kind of helps out a lot, and I wish I had one of these on my heavy. I would do double resist on my heavy, though. Um, gloves, because Titan gloves, they're amazing. And that 15% bonus reload, I believe, is quite nice. Yeah, it's 15%. Um, I wish I had a pair of dragonflies, but I'm stuck with these shot lights. That extra 1% movement mod would be kind of nice. And I have these sprints, which I'm never going to aug the second slot until augment rewards. Anyway, I'm, I am wish I could make this as long as my heavies one, but it. Ugh, I need some kind of like better recording... Thing that doesn't freeze up on me. I'm gonna go report it to the IREC developers and see what's going on. But I hope this helped you guys out if you were building an assault and just my take on it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. And here's a 10 2 power assist.